Mark Lobliner here. On day 27 of my epic prep, it is September 19th. Yesterday was phenomenal. Woke up in the morning, did a little bit of cardio, went to the gym with my wife and kids, took them to childcare. My wife and I did arms. Had a great workout, great time. Um, afterwards, went and played with the kids, went to the mall, took them to dinner, went to California Pizza Kitchen, CPK. Got the Thai chicken pizza on whole grain crust with no cheese. It's a pretty healthy option when you're uh, trying to watch your fat uh, gain during a bulk. I think it was phenomenal. Um, not too salty, not too whatever, but it was so friggin' good. Um, took a picture of my legs yesterday. I was posted on one of my blogs. You can check out at Facebook or whatever in my notes section. Um, things are coming along phenomenally. I'm still 187, but calories go up tomorrow. And I seem to be gaining old lean mass. Today is an off day. Maybe a little bit of cardio if I feel like it. Um, it's pretty damn early right now. It's a little before 4 a.m. <clears throat> and then I'm uh, going to go on with my day. But the question of the day is my opinion on caseinate versus whey protein before bed. Um, really, I don't see a reason for it unless you're hibernating. When you're a trained individual, uh, your body knows how to react to protein. If muscle mass is the goal, you know, whey, you know, contains significantly greater amounts of leucine, which is something you wouldn't find in high concentration in caseinate. And basically, if you're a well-fed athlete, your body knows how to utilize the protein. Your body will make do with it. If you're getting enough protein during the day, your body will make it work. Now, if you happen to wake up in the middle of the night, you're trying to get in extra calories, slam a shake. But I don't really see a difference between having whey protein with a fat source, maybe some fiber, versus having a caseinate shake. But if you like casein, it's giving you results, rock it out. Personally, I don't see a difference. I actually find whey protein might be the more beneficial of the two because the uh, muscle protein's response it causes. I really think it does. Um, what am I doing today? Today, family day, getting it done. Next week, on Tuesday, I leave for California. Thursday, I leave from California to Vegas. After that, I come back to Cali for a week. Bam, off to Australia. Gonna rock it out there. I'm looking forward to a great week. Um, again, submit your questions to this site. Congratulations to Lane Norton bringing home the heavyweight title at his first pro show. Lane, you rocked it out. Also, congratulations to Bob Kipniewski, who uh, is known on the boards as The Solution. Uh, he actually did really well and placed top three in his first ever show, an NPC show. Congratulations to him. Until next time, keep rocking it. Keep reaching your goals. And keep an eye out for what we have from Cyvation. Get a lot of things going on, as I mentioned yesterday. Ask to elaborate on it further. Um, really, you're just going to have to keep an eye out. Because there's some things, I mean, we already have studies done on some of them. you got to look at them. We've been putting a lot of time, a lot of effort into this. And Derek Charleboy, Chris Lockwood, the team, the Cyvation R&D team, they're hard at work. They're not sleeping. And you're going to see some novel things that will create some sick muscle growth and fat loss. I'm more excited about it than anyone. Again, Cyvation comes out with products that we want. We're a selfish company. We want results. We get the products that help you get those results. Till next time, no excuses. None of this, oh, I can't eat right because, well... Um, it's family dinner night and, and my mommy cooks. No, shut up. Get all your meals in. Get your food in. No excuses. And don't miss training. Even if you have to wake up at 2 a.m. and throw a kettleball around your black backyard. Get it done. No excuses. You're just cheating yourself. Till next time, rock it out, baby.